We're live. Why don't you tell me? Because you usually ask. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist <laughs> Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. This is our weekly Twitch Plays Kingdom Death stream, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster uh, with you guys playing as one of the characters. But first off, who are we? It's Twist Gaming. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Twitch Proxy, which means you guys are playing, and I'm helping you control the board. Wow, it has been a while since I said those words. So what does that mean exactly? That means that whenever there is a group decision to be made, we're going to be polling chat, as we did in the pre-stream, to see what we're actually going to be fighting. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, whenever there is communal dice to be rolled, or your character having a dice to be rolled, a die to be rolled, dice to be rolled, she'll be asking it in chat. And whenever you see that command, the first person to respond is going to be the die roll that we choose. Uh, if there's multiple dice needed, it's going to be in sequential order, just like that. So keep an eye out for that. And then finally, if you guys have any suggestions, any input at any point in time, feel free to shout it out. We're going to take that into consideration and move your character accordingly. So, with that, Josh, last week, what happened on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? A little random side fact while you're talking. Apparently, Webster Dictionary says dice is okay to use as a singular. Oh, good. Yes, just what? so you know. No. Neat. You don't have to use the word it die. die. It's die. It's die. Die is technically more proper, but dice is appropriate. Just Very a random good. fact. Um, so, last week, uh, we fought a level 2 screaming antelope. Matt killed it way too quickly. I did. Um, one of the crit location cards that we hit it and uh, I hit rolled it and 10... Crit. Again, and it dies, and yeah, he rolled a 10 again. That was in, like, the third turn? Yeah, something like that. It, it died very quickly. I was the only one that did any damage. Um. <laughs> <coughs> Register's dictionary's wrong! <laughs> Mama's right! Oh, um, God. So, we did that. Then we came back, we did some innovation. We got the heart flute. Mm -hmm. And we uh, sung on that, and uh, went to go say hi to... We sung on the flute. Yes, yeah, so we sung on the flute. We, we made thing? sweet, sweet music, and uh, we went to fight a uh, level one hand, just because. And it was silly how easy it was. And I just kind of stood there and laughed at him. We did have a hunt for death on the way. That's true. Yes, we did on on the way to screaming Island. That was true. So, that's where we were at the end of last session. Yep. So. Oh, thank you, thank Maelstrom. You. Wait, wait. Ye, less than a month to see you guys. Ye. Ye. All right, so TP, if you could bring that into view one more time, I would like to point out that uh, this stream, this week's stream, all of this week's streams are sponsored by uh, Elz. I'm going to butcher that. Elzra. Elzra, Elzra. Elzra Games. Uh, they have a currently live Kickstarter. That's Catacombs Conquest, yep. and we're going to be doing a spotlight session with them soon. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, and also we'd like to give a shout out, sponsored as well by uh, WizKids with Approaching Dawn Witching Hour. So big shout out to them. We're going to be doing them this Wednesday, so tomorrow. Yes. Yep. And you already played that. I did. Aaron and I already played that on stream. We had the pleasure of playing that with Ken. That's the game creator. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Dice Tower Con? Can't wait to... Yeah, Dice Tower Con. Uh, I think the video is up the video's for up. that. Yep. So you guys can check that out if you want to see some uh, early looks at it. And we're going to be playing with a more comprehensive group this time around. Because we played it with the bare minimum last time. Um, and I believe you were there for when we streamed... Uh, a different game Elzer. from Elzer. Yeah, right? uh, yeah that was, uh, Catacombs, uh, Catacombs Conquest. and Castles. Catacombs Conquest. And Conquest is the game that's out okay. now. Yeah. We streamed Catacomb and Castles. Okay. okay. Which is the Kickstarter mm -hmm. that you just did that is fulfilling now ish. Okay, cool. Uh, so that was cool. And then. Um, Can I do an exciting announcement? Sure. sure. No. Good. Ninjitsu just launched. Watch from Delian Games. What? Watch your language. Why? <laughs> All right, so um, we don't have any more endeavors left to do at the start of this stream. So we're actually ready to go on the hunt, right? Yeah, we're, I mean, yeah, we're pretty so much ready to go. So Josh and I played around with the gear grids a little bit beforehand. Um, big shout out to Arkla, Arkla the Snail. He realized that we did nightmare training wrong last week, and I'd like to get that on record so no one gets confused. Um, we got this thing that says, plus one to nightmare training, and then we immediately rolled and rolled a one, and I'm like, shit, I got one on nightmare training, and then we just ended it there. Yeah. Uh, when we, in fact, had the ability to reroll. So we rerolled that in the pre-stream, got a ten, so I gave my character a plus one natural strength. So I've got five strength now. It's kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> With that, I'm going to be playing as everyone's favorite, two bodies, to the feet, reincarnated. 
Josh, who will you be playing as? And then most importantly, who will Twitch be playing as? Uh, I'm going to be playing as Bit and Saltbreaker Jr. Okay, Bit and Saltbreaker Jr. Is there anything to note on those builds there? Um, the Bit is our tank. A lot of evasion. It's going to beat some stuff up. Got two shields. Got two shields, just because one is not never enough. Right. Um, and then Saltbreaker Jr., I'm still playing around with the build. I just recalled we all get plus one luck token when we depart. Oh, oh, that's gonna be nice. Um, so I'm thinking I might go with a deadly weapon, just because. Crit, crit, crit. Four more crit. Pretty, pretty, bang, bang. Um, because I was gonna go with spear, but I think. And then Twitch, you guys are gonna be called. Oh god. It's called Mad Stalker. That sounds like <laughs> you guys are playing as. <laughs> Fantastic. And you have a window encroaching onto my space, TP. Oh, so if you don't move that, I am going to beat you up. Um, that was a threat that was captured on camera, and I have proof. No, you know. All right, who am I playing as? Uh, it's called the Mad Stalker. The Mad Stalker. No, that's that's the whole name. It's called the Mad Stalker. Okay, what's my survival? Your survival is going to be our maximum of nine. Okay, and our weapon is a 263? Your weapon is a 264. 264. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you could say two six three because you have plus one natural accuracy. Well, no, just two six two six four. Two six four. Two six four. Two six four. All right. Um, and uh, do, 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 do. armor. Armor. You're gonna have two armor at each hit location. Including brain. Um, let me, give me one second, actually. Uh, you are not going to have two armor at every hit location. You're going to have four armor at every hit location Ooh. because you have iridescent hide. Including brain? Uh, no, you're going to have three armor to your brain. That's your insanity. Okay, so we're going to get four everywhere else. Damn, we had five last time. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to have a lot of armor myself. I'm going to have two, three, four. Four, five armor at every location except for my brain, That's where okay, I'm no gonna have idea. eight. Uh, what is my head, rather? Our movement. Uh, your movement's gonna be five. Accuracy. Your accuracy is gonna be plus one. Uh, strength. Uh, plus two. Uh, evasion. Your evasion is going to be three. Not a four. Okay. Three. Uh, what is our luck? I'm sorry. It is gonna be four. That two looks a lot like a one. You have really skinny twos, Josh. What is our luck? Your luck is going to be um, one, two, three. I'm like 90% sure that was you being too lazy to erase the one, and you made it a two. I don't think so. And our speed? Uh, your speed's going to be zero. Okay. And what monster are we fighting? Uh, so as we did in the pre-stream, we did a poll, and you fine folks in the chat chose the Screaming Antelope. So we're going to go uh, have a rematch, part D against the Screaming Antelope, or it's part Tre. 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 Um, uh, what is the life? The life? Oh, goodness. Uh, I have that here, actually. It's going... So we're going to fight a level 3. Oh. We're, yeah, we're going to make this a little more difficult, because the level 2 was a... I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it. Did you not... Did you say easy? No, I didn't. I didn't did say Did you it. say the word easy? Sure didn't. So he's going to have 23 health. Oh, boy. That's a lot. 23 health? That is correct. I feel like uh, Anne's your good luck charm. Because I've had like a bunch of TBKs in a row and <sighs> Anne comes along and you guys went breeze Oh, I beat the two. crap out of it. Yeah. All right, so life is 23. What is anything else? Uh, accuracy? Plus zero. Damage? Plus two. Ooh, hang on. Plus two. Uh, evasion? Uh, plus zero. Oh, I'm sorry, plus one. He Ooh. has a plus one evasion token. Ooh, okay. Ah, luck. Uh, plus zero. Okay. Um, movement? Eight. Eight. ESPN eight, the Ocho. Um, <clears throat> speed. Speed, uh, plus two. Can you just not move, please? Thank you. And toughness. Twelve. Twelve isn't bad. Twelve is actually pretty low for actually, a level three bad. monster. I mean, considering... You want to hear something funny. I have five natural strength. My weapon has five natural strength. That means that I need to roll a two plus to wound it. I have ten natural strength with my weapon before I roll a die. It's kind of ridiculous. That's oh, kind of, that's what else is kind of ridiculous is I have three accuracy. The weapon's a five plus, so I hit on a, on a two plus also. So it's a two plus to hit, two plus to wound, crit on a seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of hate you. 
I'm going to do some damage. I'm going to be doing some damage. Uh, all right, then. So we are ready to depart. So, Josh, I'm going to need help setting up the showdown board. Or the hunt board first, really. Um, I don't know why you had to slam that. I feel like that was really rude, Josh. Uh, Josh, there is a, a rule in 1.5 that says that it can't run off the hunt board. Yeah. I don't know what the rule is exactly, but we're going to play with that. Um, so I'm just getting the hunt board set up. And TP, if you want, you can transition over to that for us. If I wanted to, I would. Um, no, there's two other things that happened today. Or that happened today. There was one thing that happened today. We got the PGS store up. So we do exclamation point PGS deer. It changes now? I'm PGS deer? Oh, the camera's really awful. No, it's not not PGS deer. He said he... I know. I think he was trying to be nice to you, and you ruined it. Now he'll never call you deer ever again. I know. She's a screaming antelope now. I mean, she does sound like a screaming antelope. Uh, Josh, I need these Screaming Antelope Hunt Event cards. Uh, TV, can you please drop the exposure down a touch? Give me one second. Oh, Valkmule, congratulations. Thank you. I'm glad that you like the dice. I almost forgot I got my dice last weekend, and they were awesome! What do you mean they were awesome? They're not still awesome? They're still awesome. They're definitely still awesome. Valkmule, I don't remember what you got. What'd you get again? I'm kind of curious. That's what the exposure down a bit. Uh, much better. The focus is off, too. That's much better. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so I think we're ready to begin. Josh, if you want to start grabbing the terrain. Uh, yeah. So we're going to do this as we usually do this, with myself going first, Josh going second and third, TP and Twitch, you guys are going to be going fourth. So we're all ready to go. I'm playing as two bodies to the feet. Twitch, you guys are playing as it's called the Matt Stalker. We have all of our gear ready to go. Let us begin. Are we going to start a contest? Oh, yeah, so we should start a contest for who's going to get the uh, final blow. Not the killing blow, the final blow. This is important, because we had this issue once before. Hang on. Uh, three different cards, one, and I read Josh's house, and steal more. We okay. have them locked up in our safe. Yeah. They're for sale. Happened. You just can buy more. It's cheaper than coming to raid my house. That's true. It doesn't cost a plane ticket. Yeah, but then you get a trip to Florida uh, for the same amount of money. You get to Florida and dice. All right, so TP, are you ready to go? Uh, no, I'm trying to set up a poll. Or a contest, which is what you asked me to do. <laughs> trying to set up a poll. You weirdo. Who will get the final blow? Ow. Antelope? What else? What about Uncle Lope? Uh, so we have Antelope. We have two bodies to the feet. It's called the Matt Stalker. You can simplify that. It's Matt Stalker. One second. Two bodies. To the feet. Okay, Matt Stalker. Bit. Yeah. Bit. Bit. And Saltbreaker Jr. Well, it depends on how much dice you steal. I need a cost chart and then factor in an extra copy of Kingdom Death with Fen's painted minis I get on top of that. <laughs> Trip to Florida would be hanging out with you guys versus dice, though. Well, so here, this, here's the thing about Mule. You know, you'd have to get through us first. Now, it might be easy to go through Josh and myself, but TP over here, she's a scrapper. I'll take you. She's a, she's a scrappy little one. She punches in very inappropriate places. First I game. fight to win, okay. and I'm not above hitting below the belt. Okay. Hello, Green Brindle. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Thanks, everyone. Where are you? <laughs> Kills you every time. <laughs> it's the best name ever. <laughs> um, I don't know who you are, but I'd love to know who you are. <laughs> every time I, I see that name, I'm like, ah, oh, it's just one of those fan things. Like, 
Because people come and go with like weird names like that, and they don't stick around. And then I realize like, he's been here for a very long time. Seven months in a row. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> um, how many tra- random trains? <laughs> <laughs> Two randoms. Okay. Woosa, woosa. Okay, so I think we're ready to begin. So. I have <laughs> <laughs> That would be the greatest thing ever. Can you imagine those boots? I dare you to go up to a Gen Con and be like, you're. No, 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 without even saying you're, just walk up to him and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest introduction ever. <laughs> I I fully expect Josh to do that now. Josh would do it. No. Josh doesn't have a filter. I don't. Hashtag no filter. Okay, Hashtag with that, no let's let's get going here. So this this is the first card, um, and this is me, and this is grazing fields. And that is, Acanthus leaves sprout from the crevices in the stone ground. The survivors spend time gathering and eating the small leaves. Each survivor may heal one hit location of their choice, restoring all injury points. If any survivor has a bone sickle, nope. then nothing happens. So then we have to roll a random hunt event. So, TP, we need chat to roll a D100. D100? Oh, you have them roll it for you? Yeah, it's, it's mine, but I'll let them roll it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I was uh, TP, your uh, brain check box is chucked on the overlay. I will double check. No, we want you to uncheck it, not double check it. <laughs> um, and you change the name of screen panel to just SA and change the crest, please. Okay, give me one sec. If you haven't been able to tell, it's been a while. So we have It Whispers Your Name, number what? 33. Matt, no. I'm surprised you didn't start singing. I drag it first. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry, Balcony was 90. Yeah. Back. Are, are you speaking words? Words and things I speaks. Are, do you? <clears throat> the event revealer, that's me, trips over a protruding nose in the ground. The lips of the stone face begin to move. If the survivor has no name, the lips stop moving and nothing else happens. Okay, Otherwise, the, the lips seducti- sub- eh, seductively uh, whisper the survivor's name. If they're insane, that's me, uh, they are drawn in, savagely kissing the face. Repulsed and outraged, the other survivors suffer one brain damage before pulling me off and moving on. How's that? Um, fine. Quick question, Matt. You are quixotic, so you get plus one strength token because you're insane? Yes. What's the other thing you get? I don't remember. Plus five evasion. Sure. <clears throat> sure that's Did you move my card? I didn't touch anything. My card that was here. Nope. Did I take it out? Maybe. It's right there. Oh, I guess I did. I don't if know. If only we had it, you know, people watching to see what you did. Matt makes out with the stone face on the floor. There is no surprise. Yeah, you guys shouldn't lose a brain damage for that. But TP, if you could please reduce yeah, your ins- survival, is what you got in the park. Reduce okay. my insanity. Reduce your insanity by one, please. I could we all. Try. Yes, all, all of y'all. I just made out with the stone face. You all are just kind of grossed out by that. Yeah. But not surprised. Exactly. Grossed out, but not surprised. Was it in a movie theater? That's the key. Uh-huh. All right. So Josh, you're next, and this is with Bit. And you're gonna roll a random hunt event. So Josh, please roll a random hunt event. Uh, we're having chat roll them anyway. Let's just have chat. Chat roll D100. D100. I put my my life in your hands. You're gonna roll cancer pigeons now. 52, mad flies. Tiny persistent insects swarm the survivors flying into their ears and nostrils. The bugs buzz maddeningly in their heads, growing louder as they, grow ne- as they near their quarry. At the start of the showdown, the mad flies each reach a frenzied peak as the survivors prepare for battle. For the first three rounds of the showdown, the survivors gain plus two strength tokens and suffer one brain damage at the beginning of each round. On the fourth round, the gestating eggs hatch, exploding in the survivor's mouth in a cloud of buzzing chaos, knocking them down. Remove the strength tokens. This is going to be annoying. So, so repeat, it's first... We're all going to get plus two strength tokens for the first three rounds. On the fourth round, we all get knocked down. So that is, that's going to be bad. Knockdown? Yeah. But, and then we lose our strength tokens. Anything else? That's it. That's it. Oh, and one brain damage at the start of each round. Okay. That's an odd one. I don't remember having that before. We got it once before. All right, so are we all good there, Josh? Can you make note of that? Yeah. Okay. So, Josh, it's your other character. It's Salt Breaker Jr. And you're going to have... It's Stampede! 
A thunderous boom approaches. The survivors may hide. If they do, move the quarry back one space. Otherwise, all survivors gain plus one courage, and the event revealer rolls a d10. Oh, fuck that. We're not hiding. Rolled a three, and a three is, with chaos, the survivors glimpse the monster that spooked the screaming antelope. All survivors suffer two brain event damage and wipe what they saw from memory. <clears throat> All right, so, TP, please mm -hmm. reduce your... Uh, oh, I just dropped one of your gear cards there, Josh. Uh, please reduce your insanity by two. And up your courage by one. Oh, you can't do that. I do, I do your courage. You have no courage. Now you have one. All right. Reduce my insanity by two? In, by two. That is correct. Oh, I need to do that. Did you tell her to do plus one luck on her character sheet? Yes, I did. Her character sheet reflects that plus one luck. This is down to one. Quixotic is when you depart, though, correct, Josh? Yes. Okay, so the big problem now is that... Oh, no, that's the plus one strength. I thought I had to be insane to use no, the apostle crown. No. Okay, so we're good to go. So, TP, this one's for you. Can this you one's for you. Doing that. It's getting mildly infuriating. What? What you're doing. Sorry. Uh, so, TP, I need you to roll a random hunt event. So, we're going to need a D100 to be rolled in chat. A D100? Indeedly doodly. Indeedly doodly. So, again, the first person roll. A four. Oh, no. Okay. Famine. Uh, the journey stretches dizzyingly before the survivors. The stomachs are grumbling in the dark. The hunt begins to take its toll. All survivors gain a minus one speed token. All survivors <clears throat> gain a minus one speed token. So, so your speed is going down... To negative one. To negative one. This is both a good and a bad thing. Hmm. All right. So, uh, me, I am up next. So what's mine? Mine's going to be roll a random hunt event. So... TP, why not? Have chat do it. D100, please. 21. 21. Thank you. Drawings. Uh, cowering in a cave, the survivors find strange drawings decorating the walls. They appear to carry a message. Any survivor with 3 plus understanding may try to decipher their drawings by rolling on the table. If your settlement has innovative pictographs, we have pictographs, right? Mm -hmm. Add plus two to your result. Um, me. Me. Uh, I can check. Okay. Yes, I can. I rolled a ten. Uh, the drawings teach you a secret way to fight the monster. Gain two survival. I'm at max survival. We're all at max survival. Doesn't really mean anything. Okay, so with that, it's time for everyone's favorite, Overwhelming Darkness! So TP, we're going to need a D10 to be rolled. This is for Overwhelming Darkness. And we all roll on Path of the Brave because we have Song of the Brave, right, Josh? Yep. Overwhelming Darkness. L-M-N-O. Please roll a D10, not a D100. Oops. They got it there right in the chat, so a it's a four. They know what I'm doing better than I do. A nine. Josh, what'd you roll? A ten and a two. Okay, so a two. We're gonna go lowest to highest. So, TP, what'd you get? A four? Okay, so a two is going to be, you emerge from the darkness crippled with doubt. Gain a minus one speed token. Okay. That doesn't mean anything for you, because you have a one speed weapon. Yep. Uh, okay, so next up, TP is four, and that is the darkness drowns out your lantern light. Gain a minus one accuracy token. So, you're going to reduce your accuracy by one. Hmm, accuracy is going down by one to zero. Okay, and then I rolled a nine, and a nine is gain plus one strength, minus one evasion. So, okay. Josh, if you could just give me the plus one strength, I am going to use uh, that other ability of Song of the Brave to get rid of that minus one evasion token. That's going to be at the beginning live. of the showdown. Yes. So, just in case you get anything else that you don't want. Thank you, Transcendent. Transcendent. In case I get a... Uh, Minus luck token. It's a great arrow. Wrapping the dice and candy wrappers was so good. Yeah. And then Josh got a 10. 10 is, you will survive. No, as long as you know how to love, you know you'll stay alive. So you are going to gain plus one survival and a plus one evasion token. Um, you see how I waited there? You got a little confused, didn't you? And uh, so my tank has plus one. I didn't evasion. need the strength because I actually, you didn't give me my other plus strength token I from Quixotic. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's, it's there. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have seven natural strength on my survivor now, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to beat things up. 
But it's like, I don't Go team. have to, like... Go team. Teamwork makes it I can't get better than two plus. Yes, you can. You need to always strive for better. Thanks, Mom. All right, so that was Overwhelming Darkness. I think we did a pretty good job. And then we have a special event now for Mineral Gathering. They're minerals, Marie. So... <laughs> Josh, you're going to do Mineral Gathering because you have the pickaxe, right? Uh, let's have chat roll D10. Okay, so TP, if you could please have chat roll a D10 for Mineral Gathering. That D10, not done yet. Wait, do that again. Wrong. Sorry, Sorry. Brian. Can you just make it a... A three. Okay. It's a nine. That would have been nice. I mean, that's not right. That's... I don't care. It's a three. It's a three. Okay. Uh, a newly opened crack releases a toxic cloud. You flee, leaving your tools behind. It. Archive any tool gear in your gear grid. Mm. So you lose the pickaxe. Me? Josh lost his pickaxe because okay, of Okay, I don't care about that. We need some iron. And Josh, this is also still you. And this is teething. The survivors find a trail of large rotting teeth littering the ground. Each survivor may scavenge and roll a d10 on the table. I'm doing it. With all my characters. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with mine too. TP, I would recommend you do it as well if you would an like. Eight. D10? Indeed. A nine. I got an eight. I did it right this time, guys. I got it. A one. Transcendent did not. You cut yourself on the sharp shard, suffering one damage to the arms hit location. It's not that bad. So take one damage to your arms, reduce your armor by one. And Josh, myself, and Josh again got the last one, which is we're gonna gain a large flat tooth. So we're gonna get three large flat teeth or up to three large flat teeth. So wait, I, I have a question. I've never made this up joke to. before, that I damaged my armor? Ah? No, your arm armor. My arm? Yeah, the armor on your arms. Armor. Yeah, the armor on your arms. I hate you. Uh, there's only two, but uh, when we get that, we also get plus two insanity to a character. Oh, okay. Anyone in particular want it? Does anyone benefit from insanity? No. Your guy needs insanity to keep his quixotic, so... I'll, I'll take it, just so I'm back up to insane. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Grey Dyer! That was my TP impersonation. Thanks, Grey Dyer! You don't need to make your voice higher. You already sound like a chipmunk. Thanks, Grey Dyer! Oh, my God. Um, so, Josh, this is your other character now. I need you to please roll a d100. Try to do it. Let's, let's go. D100, chat. D100. Wait, you, you yell at me when I have them roll a D100. No. At I the yell at you when I ask for a D10, and you ask them to roll a D100. 40! This seems familiar. Death Wager! <clears throat> Please listen. Okay. The survivors are awoken by a traveler hidden in a deep cloak. The traveler removes his hood to reveal a face whose jaw has been split in two. Two chins curve away from each other, each with its own mouth. In a dreamlike state, the survivors all understand this entity is known as the Gambler, and if they speak, they will die. Until this event is completed, only... Only I, the event revealer, can speak. Um... Only the event revealer can speak. If any other player speak, their survivor turns cold and is dead. <laughs> uh, the survivors must play the gambler's game. Here we go again. Or be trapped with him forever. Each player must roll on the table below. So, Matt, you want to go first? Four. You do not lose, nor do you win. I'll play again if you wish. If you do, roll again on the table. Hmm? No, don't roll again. Don't, we don't need that. Uh, let's have chat roll. D10. Using chat, count is talking now. Three. You do not lose, nor do you win. Play again if you wish. If you do, roll again on the table. I recommend not doing it, but that's that's up to what chat wants to talk about and decide on their own. I will roll for my two characters. Seven. I am not rolling again. Two. I am definitely not rolling again. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. I, I think we're good. That's the end of the event. Okay, so we can talk again. You roll one, you die. You roll ten, you get plus one lock. 
There's more no's than <laughs> yeses. Yes. All right, so. That's where I usually like to get greedy, but I've got a really good character right now. And we're trying to get consolation, so. Yeah. We Although I would have crit on a six plus then. <laughs> Transcendence said keep going. And then he rolled a one. <laughs> we would have died. <laughs> All right, so it is now TP's turn. TP. This one's for you. Migration. Damn it. Some unseen force has set off a massive migration. Nothing remains but un uprooted acanthus plants and shattered ground ruined by hooves. Move the screaming antelope three spaces away from the survivors on the hunt board. He's, he's on starvation. He's on the last face of the hunt board. All right, can you move the hunt board down a little bit? Yeah, there you go. All right, and give me one second. So it is my turn again. So I am going to do a random hunt event. So... Um, I'm going to roll it, just because TP is not here to ask chat, if that's okay. That's what you get for rolling without me. Screw you. What was it? it can you get the die at least? Doesn't count. Nicole, can you where, get the die at least? Where is it? I well, thought it fell behind you. No, it no. fell off that side of the table. Because it's the weighted white dice. What well, was it? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. It was a two. It was a two. Are you sure? It was a two or it was an eight? I don't know. It's... <laughs> Just. It doesn't count if you roll. Such chat roll. Just, just have, have chat, chat roll. A d100. Can you get your leg off of mine? No, we're playing footsies. Uh, you asked for a d10, and it's a d100. Sorry, woman. Play more. It's like what I got, anyways. Food from the mouths of others. The survivors pass a stone face that appears to be holding something in its mouth. The event revealer in if or no, the event revealer investigates, gains one courage, and rolls on the table. So TP, we need a D ten to be rolled, and you are gonna get plus one. You get courage. Oh, this I'm, is your character. Oh, oh, good. Okay, so I need you to. I'll roll my D ten. It's for me. Ten. You pull out a masticated mask, gain one random basic resource, and gain two insanity. I pull out a masticated mask. It said event revealer. Yeah, that was me. Okay. And you got a uh, broken lantern. Okay. And so, Josh, this one is you then. Please roll a random event. Have chat roll D100 for me, please. Um, Nicole, you need to take that? Yeah. Okay. I will roll the D100, since TP has to take a phone call. What? 62! I thought it was 26. I was going to say, why do you keep rolling in the 20s? 62, and that is the space between the rocks. The survivors find themselves distracted by a dark crack in the stone face floor. Every survivor must... Oh, goodness. Oh, shit. Every survivor must roll a D10. The lowest scoring survivor is the straggler. Okay, so I'll roll a d10. Yeah. I rolled a 9. I rolled a 1. An 8. Uh, chat, please roll a d10. Uh, I don't have the ability to put the command in the chat, but if you guys can do it, it's all yours. The first person that does it once they hear the dulcet sounds of my voice. There you go, an 8. eight. So I am the straggler. You are the straggler. You're the weakest link. That's fine. Um, whatever the straggler glimpse changes them forever. Gain a random disorder. That's fine. So if we both, ha if we all happen to roll the same thing. What's the odds of that, though? So it's a 1 in 10% chance times a 1 in 10% chance. So it's a 1 in 100. It's a 1 in 1,000 chance. But if that were to happen, we all would have died. Or if someone had the ability, they're always the straggler or something like that. Hmm. Uh, I have monster panic. Whenever you suffer brain damage from an intimidate action, suffer an additional brain damage. It's interesting. That's not that bad. Double brain damage from intimidate. Not double. Plus one oh. brain damage. That could be OP. Yeah. You get 20 brain damage. Oops, I died. All right, so... That is the end of the hunt. It's time for us to face the Screaming Antelope. So, Josh, if you could help me, please set up the showdown board. We are ready to begin. So I'll flip over to that in the book. 
Super duper. You're not helping me set up the showdown board, Josh. You're stuck in the way. Monster goes in the middle. Oh, the knight, I, it would have been nice if we got to uh, ambush him again, right? Uh, yeah, scoop. That way. We're on the board edge. We start on the board edge, so I wanted to... Oh, oh, oh. So, Josh, if you can give me his... Uh, oh, we get rid of our minus one attribute token of our choice. So I'm going to get rid of the minus one evasion, because that's awful. Okay. And that's Twitch all I have. I have. They have a minus one accuracy, a minus one speed. I should have one of those minus one speed. And minus one accuracy, minus one speed. Um, I don't want them to have that minus one accuracy. I don't care if they What's hit their accuracy. Less. Their accuracy, they only they have zero. Uh, they have plus one accuracy. Okay. And what's their weapon's a six plus? Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of their minus one accuracy. Okay. And I get order for these minus one speeds, which really doesn't matter. Uh, Josh, once you get the board set up with me, do you want to sit in the Twitch proxy chair? Um, yeah, I can go over there in a second. And I will do my best at doing Josh duty. <laughs> Josh duty. Alright, so, uh, we need a whole bunch of Acanthus plants, so we're going to set that up around the monster. Take one of these cards. I don't... Look at it. I didn't read it. I can't read. I, we already know that. I can't read. Only two of the three legendary cards go in there. Is that good, Josh? Can I set up the Acanthus like that, or is that boring? It's fine. Okay. Um, and then what other stuff did we get? We got the bug patch, and then we get two random terrain cards. What did we get with the randoms? Uh, we got an or or vein. We got an or vein. Where does that and get set? And a survivor's up? corpse. Uh, at least six spaces from all other terrain. So we can set it on the board edge over here. And the same as for the survivor's corpse is six edges from board edge. So I can set that up over there. And the bug patch is adjacent to the monster. Bug patch is adjacent to the monster. Uh, six spaces away from each other, so that is five spaces. Boop. All right. And sadly, I don't have pickaxe anymore to pick up the stupid ore to get the freaking iron. Do you, you don't need a pickaxe. Let's roll two d ten, and if you roll thirteen plus, you get two iron ration. Uh, iron that would have been nice. Yeah, that would have been really nice. What about sucks to be you? All right. So, are we ready to begin? Well, we need to show us trade cards. Uh, he starts with several trade cards in play, right? Yes, he's going to start with... Trample, Diabolical, and Hyper Metabolism. So Hyper Metabolism is the... Oh, this is going to suck. Hyper Metabolism starts off in play, and that's whenever the monster consumes terrain or gear, the monster gains a plus one speed token. If that one AI card comes into play in the beginning of the game, we're boned. Not your club is going to be a little bad. Because it goes to his basic action, which is to eat stuff. Until we get rid of all of the... Yeah. Uh, diabolical is at the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone. So you don't want to be in that cross-sectional area. And then full move towards him. And then trample is whenever there's a collision, you're going to take damage equal to the monster's level to a random hit location. So you really don't want to get damaged. Uh, and look at all the snacks in front of him. That's why I put him on that side of him, because... They're closer to us. There you go. Are we ready to begin, Josh? Uh, in a second. I'm going to rearrange that. Twitch has reach, right? Uh, Twitch does have reach. So we can put them further space, or further space away. So again, Twitch, you guys are playing as purple. I'm playing as yellow. Josh is playing as green with his tank. And red as his support character. Okay, and he has plus two speed, plus two damage. Plus two, and plus one evasion. Super duper. So I'm ready when you are, Josh. All right. And the monster's going first, right? Monster does go first. So uh, grab an AI card and let's go. Let's see what I can do here. Never done this this part of it before. Even in our personal campaigns, Josh has always controlled the board. Oh my god, I have four characters. This is ridiculous. Okay, so the monster's going to go first, so he draws an AI card. And let's see what it is. It is Slam. So come on and Slam if you want to jam. All right, so what is Slam? Slam is closest knockdown survivor, furthest threat in field of view in range. So the furthest threat in field of view in range. In range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Oh no. He's gonna graze. Yay! Um, you wanna grab the uh, basic action card and, and show off Grace? Lucy would like some dinner. I'm gonna go give him some dinner. So Grace is... The monster full moves to the closest acanthus plant and ends its turn. If the monster is on or adjacent to an acanthus plant, uh, archive the terrain and heal one wound. If there are no acanthus plants on the showdown board, instead full move forward in a straight line. So unfortunately, he's going to eat an acanthus plant, and that's going to give him plus one speed. So he is going to get an additional plus one speed token, which is super duper awful for us. Oh boy. So he's going to run to the closest one. Let's say, well, it's right in front of him. So he's going to eat this one, and it goes away. And that's the end of the monster's turn. And he's going to get a plus one speed token. So Josh... one space so he'd be on top of it? No. That would be to our benefit, so he's a little bit closer so we can get him. Okay. All right. So he gets plus one speed. And it's our turn. So what do you want to do on our turn here, Josh? Um... We need to harvest all of that acanthus right now. Like, right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, first, first off, with, with Sawbreaker Jr., yeah. I want to look at the top two AI cards. So the top two AI cards, there is Gore, and kick and back kick and gore is full move in the direction the monster is facing and then turn to face the closest survivor so that's actually good it's going to get him away from the acanthus plants and then he picks a target and then he picks a target which is a random survivor in range okay so we leave gore on top then we don't have to worry about the canvas so much if we leave gore on top and then the next one's back kick by the way okay what's back kick uh, in blind spot in range and then closest threat in range and then no target grace and he only attacks in his blind spot okay. so he turns around so I'm going to put Gore on top because what I, here's what I'm thinking is you leave the tank there and the mm -hmm. rest of us dash away so we're out of his range so he has to attack the tank and then we all take our turn to farm the acanthus and then we can just wail on him after that Okay. sound good? sounds good to me all right, so uh, you did that with your one character. That's your red character, correct? Yes. So, okay, so first off, does Twitch want to do the survivor corpse? Uh, so or no, the, they don't. Uh, my character's going to move. Where do you, oh, yeah, you want to move one, two, three, four, five. You should dash. I can dash. What? Let me see the card, please. Sure thing. Sorry, just read the text. <clears throat> So that's, that's my idea, is that you would dash, get completely out of his range. Um, we could dash afterwards to see where he, see exactly how bad everything needs to be. Like, I don't have to dash right this second. You could, that's true, you could actually dash on his turn and then run out of his range, and then he wouldn't be able to do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that's not that bad. So you're going to move there. Um, so chat. Note, though that you wouldn't be able to get any acanthus then, right now. I'd use my activation to oh, okay. To do the egg deck. So I, I don't have an activation anyway. Otherwise I would have tried to get the eye. So I am going to now run and get some acanthus, okay? Okay, just make sure you're not in front of him. Right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use a survival to dash. I gain it back and then I move one, two, three. So I'm right here. Uh, I am going to grab the first acanthus directly in front of me, and I rolled a five, and that is, uh, you find something tasty and consume, if you do, gain plus one survival and archive this terrain card. I'm at full survival. And then I'm going to surge. I do use my survival. Okay. Let me just see what happens when I roll again. Pick up that acanthus. I rolled a seven. And that is gain plus three insanity, a skull rest. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, a seven. I'm sorry. Where am I? Top left. A seven. Uh, could gain one survival and archive this terrain. So I don't use my survival, essentially. So I took care of two of the acanthus plants. Okay. Do they want to loot the body first? 
All right, so I need a D10 to be rolled then, Josh, and that's the Survivor Corpse. Rolled a two. A two. They gain plus one insanity. Archive this terrain card. Plus one insanity. Okie doke. And then I'm assuming they're going to run over kind of similar to where I am so they can loot one of those acanthus plants. Yep. That's one, two, three, four, five. They need to dash, so if you want to have them... Uh, yeah, just a second. Uh, roll, a, uh, roll a d10 to see if they regain their survival for dashing. Okay. And they get an ins I got to do the insanity, right? That is correct. You need to do one brain damage. So they rolled a seven, so they do not lose their, ins their survival. And then they need to uh, surge now. Yep. So you so need to roll d10. another d10 to see if you regain your survival for that. You cool. spend your survival. Okay. You can hold off on that for a second. And then we're going to roll one, one more. One more d10, and this is going to be for the acanthus plant. And then this is a four as well. And a four on the acanthus plant is nothing. So you're going to go ahead and drop your does survival by one. Yes, it does. What, what exact text? Find nothing, archive this terrain. Okay. I think there's one option on one of the cards that say... Yeah, it's, it's not the acanthus plant. Okay. So we have two Acanthus plants left on the board. And Josh, with your tank, I'm assuming you're putting up your shield. Yep. Okay. So Josh is putting up his shield. It's the end of our turn. It is now the monster's turn. So the monster's gonna draw an AI card and look at that. It is, oh wait, I'm sorry. Back on my turn, I can look at the top four cards of okay. the hit location deck because I have the uh, Apostle Crown activated. So I'm gonna just rearrange those super duper quick. So we have something to do there. Oh, that would be so nice. Oh, that would be so nice. Oh, I'm putting that on top. I need to attack him next. Okay. Okay, so the delicate inverted knee is on top now, and that's if you're attacking. Long stack map. You're right. The delicate inverted knee is on top, and that's if you're attacking with a club, you get plus two luck. I can hit with my shield. Huh? I can hit with my shield too. Oh, you can. The top two cards are both plus two luck. Oh, so we both beat the hell out of it. Yeah, and then after that, it just keeps getting better. This is a really good stack of cards. <laughs> if you crit him, you knock him down on this one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I put the wrong one on top. This is the one that needs to go on top. Flip the other one, then. All right. So it is the monster's <coughs> turn. He is going to draw gore. So it's full move in the direction the monster is facing and face the closest survivor. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he's going to turn to face you. He already is. Yep. And then he's going to pick a target, so random survivor in range. We're all in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we're all in range. So. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Leave that in view. Uh, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to attack your tank. Easy okay. peasy. So it's going to. What's the uh, speed? Uh, it's, he's got plus three speeds. So he's got four speed right now. So, you need four D10s to be rolled. He's going to move over here. And four D10s. You have how much evasion? Um, a lot. You have two, three, four evasion? Does that sound right? Oh, five evasion, because you have a plus one evasion token. So five evasion, so you hit on a... You get hit on a seven plus. So, he has four speed... Uh, total. Nine, one, six, ten. So you got hit twice. Twice. You have a shield that blocks both. Yep. You're okay, don't worry. We're good. Yeah, thanks, guys. Everything okay? Sure, you don't need a few more? Everything's okay now. Okay, good. All right. So Josh successfully blocked all the stuff. However, he's going to do his diabolical now. If you want to spend a survival and jump out of the way or something. So here's the issue. If you have an issue. Grab a tissue? Got it. I knew it. You can't really dodge this. At the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone. Which is me. Then once I am targeted. Oh, yeah. 
You can't dodge that. Can't so he's going to run into you, and you're going to take three I damage can, to a random hit location. I can dash to be in a closer spot for you guys, but I think... So put that in card game. So it's going to target Josh right now, and then there's going to be a flow step, and that's full move towards the target. Uh, otherwise, full move in the direction the monster is facing. So it's going to attack Josh. So yeah, I would like it if you dashed closer, because that means that I'll be able to... You know what? No, because I have no problem dashing. Okay. And he's just going to move one space closer, because that's all he can do. But you're going to get knocked down, no? Oh, you have leather armor. Uh, I got to check the wording if it's knocked down or... If you get knocked down or you get dashed. On collision. If he lands on you, I get knocked back five. I know that. So he is just double checking the rules right now. Let's give him one second, please. They're knocked down. Yeah, I'll be knocked down. Okay. I don't ignore. Well, you'll get up again. <sighs> yes. You're never gonna keep him down. So. Oh shit! We all plus one two strength tokens. At the yes. beginning of our turns, we all suffer one brain damage. So we all suffered one brain damage. So TP, if you could please reduce your insanity by one. Yep. Um, Sawbreaker Jr. actually needs to roll. Uh, a four. I believe that's flea? I'm 90% sure that's flea, and that's you move full move away from the monster. Uh, flee. You are knocked down and suffered knockback equal to your movement toward the closest board edge. Gain 1d5 insanity. This is Saltbreaker Jr. Yeah. So, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, That should have technically been the first turn. That happened. Okay. Say you, you encouraged me up. Okay. For, so my turn actually happened, right? Okay. You lost your survival for that. Where was I? Before, I was here. Yeah. So I'm still where I'm at. It's just new. Term. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. Just kind of retro on that. So a he's little going bit. to jump forward. You're going to get three damage to your random hit location, and you're going to get knocked down over there. And I rolled a freaking ten on brain tunnel. <laughs> For who? Tank. Why is that so bad? You were knocked down. Add your current survival to your insanity and you reduce your survival to zero. Oh. A ten? Because you... No, I rolled an eight. Oh, you rolled an eight. Okay, yeah. I thought you said you rolled a ten. No, I, I got a ten. You got frenzy. Gain one d5 insanity, one speed token, one strength token. Ignore slow on melee weapons. You may not spend survival. You may not use fighting arts. You may not use weapon specializations or mastery. It can be gained multiple times. Less until the end of the showdown. So, I'm frenzy. The tank is frenzy. That sucks. I mean, I just can't use survival, which sucks. Well, yeah, the dodging would be nice. Granted, you have your sweet-ass shield, but you can't surge to put it up now. Yep. I can bash this shit out of him, though. I have three speed. Ten strength. You can. No, eleven strength. I, I can just... So I'd like it if you can pick some of this stuff up with your dude. Okay. So we know what the top card is on the AI deck. Yeah. How hard do we want to grind the AI, the AI deck? To make sure we don't hit that one card. To get his level 3 resource. Or can I have the cards in card game? Yeah. Um, well, let's... We know the top one's good. And I have a minus 1 speed token. So I can go over and attack him and we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So I'm going to run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, whatever. I'm over here. I'm right behind him in this butt. So I need to roll to see if I spent my survival for dashing. I did. That's not good. So I have seven survival left. I'm going to attack. I hit on a two plus. It's a hit. I wound on a two plus, and since I get plus two luck, I've got eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten. A five plus crits. Okay. It's ridiculous. Really? A three, it's still a wound, so if you can please give the monster a minus one life, TP. Minus one life? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then... Would you like some coffee? Oh, thank you. Uh, so... 22? Yeah. Just did the first one. So, Josh, do you want to check the AI deck and then pick up some acanthus plants? It requires me to surge a bunch. It requires you to surge once. 
Just, I'll check. Just shut up with your logic, Matt. Okay, so Josh is checking the top two cards, the AI deck, and basically you're seeing if both of them are safe. That's the key here, right? The first one is Chow Down. We want to definitely get rid of that. The next one is not a... We can get rid of it. It's not a big deal. Get rid of both of them. All right, so you did that. You're going to move over to the Acanthus Plains then, I'm assuming? I'm move right here. Out of curiosity, why the far one? Um, if I move here, yeah, I will be in his trample zone. Unless you move to the other side of this. Twitch could do something. Like, we can play with it. Okay. It's not a huge deal. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up yet. Why? Um, if anything, I could start to check the AI deck again. Depending on how much damage we do. Okay. So, I'm going to surge right now. Go for it. So, I don't use my survival. Or I regain my survival, rather. Okay. Two plus hits. It's a nine. That's a hit. No, you have peerless on every game insanity. You'll also get that amount of survival. Well, that's nice. So, Josh, I need the top card of the hit location deck. So, this is attacking the delicate inverted knee. So, this is if you hit with a clubber shield, you get plus two luck. So, again, five plus crits, two plus wounds. It's a six, that's a crit. The screaming antelope balance is ruined. When the monster starts its movement, roll a d10. On the result of one, the screaming antelope is knocked down. So that's a persistent injury there. And TP, if you could please reduce the monster's life total by one. Yay, all right. All right, no. Don't sound too excited. He's now gonna do his well, big action. I'm when it had been like half an hour before you get the first hit in. We purposely did that. Okay. So yes, he's now gonna do his basic action. So now we definitely want to make sure that we get rid of these Acanthus plants, correct? Yes, because he's going to full move towards one. So what's the, what's, how, what's the actual verbiage of the basic action? So he's going to do the closest knockdown survivor in range. So, so you're actually, I stay knocked down. That's actually good. I get attacked, but then I'll get trampled again. It's up so, to you. Oh, I had to take three armor to a hit location, right? Three someone, damage. yeah, three damage to hit location. Okay. So someone's gonna get the damage anyways, right? Someone's probably gonna get trampled anyways, so it might as well be the guy with all the armor. Okay. Especially when we're not terribly concerned about the Canthus plants, right? Yeah. So, Twitch, your options here are uh, you can run up and try to hit him in the butt, or you can pick up an Acanthus plant. I think I know what you guys want to do. Always hit him in the butt. Yes. Oh, sorry. Backtrack one second here. We're all going to take a brain damage. Why? Yeah. Because at the start of the first three of our turns, we take a brain damage. I'm already at zero. That's fine. Do I have to check the box? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sure do. Right. I already did. I did that one. I... That much. is collect, correct, Lothario. That's uh, that's what it is. But the nice thing is he's not going to go after it now because Josh is knocked down. So he's going to go after it. Yes, we have Madflies. And hello, Zenith. Hi, Zenith. Is that a math is just a pain in the butt just because of how much upkeep it yeah, is? Yeah, from a bookkeeping standpoint, it's annoying. <laughs> um, I mean, the nice thing is also, right now, guys, just so you remember, you have plus two strength from the mad flies. So because of that, you're going to be more likely to wound him now. So it's actually a good time to attack for you guys. Because you have a, a lower strength weapon, so it's going to be more of a pain in the ass for you later on. Right? Say right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. 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 Mm -hmm. Spoiler redacted. Pain in the mouth, you mean. So, what do you think Twitch should do? Think they're going to run up and do it? Do you want to do anything with your character now? Because if they attack, you might want to check the AI cards, right? Because I got rid of... Two? Get rid of one. I got rid of... No, I attacked twice. I got rid of the two that you checked already. Yeah. Uh, you got rid of the one that we already knew was there, and then I checked. Okay. So I know what the next one is. Uh, I think we should attack, to be honest. Okay, so let's attack with you guys. So, you're going to move one, two, three, four, five. TP, I need you to... You can move right there and attack. Oh, they can. That's right. They have reach. That's nice. So, TP, uh, can you please roll a d10? You guys sure. are going to hit on a... Uh, five plus. Five plus. Sure. Uh... Oh, good. You updated the accuracy. Thank you. One d10. You have a minus one speed token, so you're only going to be rolling one die. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. I, have oh, type, I have to type it all out again. To get the bad rolls out of the system, that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Still <Boy>. a miss. <laughs> uh, so, if you want, you can spend a survival and try it again. Let's do it again. So, so the I've... first 
roll you're going to do is going to be to see if you regain your survival. And I'm sure I will. You don't. I you don't. lose a survival. Ooh. So now you need to roll one more time. Look at them keeping me on my toes. All right, survival's going down to a seven. Now we're going to roll another time. That's okay. I'd rather roll higher here. And a five plus is going to hit the monster. It's a two, so you missed again. So <laughs> utter failure. <sighs> okay, so Josh, are you going to pick up the acanthus now or not really? Sure, why not? So you are going to get an acanthus. Look at you. That's always good. Well, he's a survival. We didn't really want to hit anyways. Only losers hit antelopes. <laughs> All right, so it's the end of our turn, and it is the monster's turn now. So Josh is the... No. Yes, everyone. We really appreciate it. Wait. Thanks, Nathan. months in a row, yay. There we go. So Twitch, you are the monster controller. So what's the next AI card, please? Joshy Bear. No, no, it's basic action. Ba yeah, yeah, basic action. So he's going to go after the closest knocked down survivor in range. So he's going to graze. He's not going to graze. You're knocked down. So he's going to run after you, and, and he's going to attack. Uh, five D10s. Five D10s to be rolled. Five D10s? And Josh yeah. is going to get hit One, on two, a 7+. And watch it be five. five eights. All in a row. The next card's good, Josh, to crit. If we crit that, that would help immensely. Yes, well. That's a two. That's a miss. That's an eight. That's a hit. That's an eight. That's a hit. It's bad. I give up. <laughs> uh, we need that. That was a good roll, though. That no, you, you no. He, he rolled an eight. Oh. Jaja Tech rolled an eight. Sorry. A one. That's a miss. And one more d10. So right now, Josh is taking two hits that he can't do anything about. Yep. And a six. That's a miss. So Josh took one hit. I like how you only ever adjust two hits, two hits. my rolls if I think. Yeah. If, if, if it's in your favor. Absolutely. Otherwise you want. Body and the head for how much damage? Three? Uh, it's going to be plus two damage, so three damage each. Down to five head armor and two body armor. Ooh, you're, you're getting scary there, buddy. Here's what it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah, and guess so, what? He's gonna trample me. Yep, he's gonna trample you, so you're gonna take three art damage to another hit location. Well, we can clear out this. All the dice? Oh, look at that. I'm taking a light hit to the body now. Tank's getting hit in the body. Look at that. Two bodies to the feet. The nice thing is, though, once we get all these Acanthus plants done, his basic action, if no one's knocked down, is just gonna be to grace. No, he runs forward. He runs forward, but that means he's just gonna. He's keep... gonna do diabolical at the end of his turn because it doesn't end his turn anymore. It just says move forward in a straight line. Right. So, did you but see diabolical is only I'm sorry, moving is only moving in that cross pattern. So as long as no one's in the cross pattern, we're okay. It's not yet. Yeah. Do you see? Uh, is that the last question? Uh, why fight an antelope this year? Switching this up, looking to get a particular piece of gear, the armor set, or they're going for the lance. We're going for both, Zenith. We just need the head armor, and we're also hoping to go for the lance. I'm not a hundred percent. In remembrance of what we need to do for the lance. We need to get the legendary card out. Oh, and we have a one in three chance of actually getting the correct legendary card. Right? There's three cards. We have to take one out. So there's two Oh, three. okay. Okay. You were taking the one that wasn't going to be in the deck. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. What's the armor sets in this fight? We have two raw hides, a leather, and then a mishmash. Uh, the last guy, he has uh, everything besides the headgear for the... Screaming the antelope. antelope, yeah. Yeah. He's got the riot headband with you. We got kind of unfortunate because the tank got frenzied. Yep. Tank's yeah. frenzied. Um, so that's the end of the monster's turn, though. It's our turn now. And we're going to take one more brain damage. So everyone, please take another brain damage. And the next turn is... We get rid of that, yeah. So TP, if you can please take another brain damage, you know what that means, right? Your box is already checked, right? Uh, yes. We need a D10 to be rolled, then. Fantastic. 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 Speaking of fan... These beautiful minis are brought to you courtesy of Ben. So that's a seven? Seven? It's a seven. A seven, so the nine total. New perspective, you're knocked down and gain one d10 insanity. So please roll a d10. D10. You kind of want to roll low here. Why? Mm. Uh, 
has Matt been taking an additional brain damage? Is a 10 low enough? No. That's no, one from he gets intimidated. Yeah, it's only intimidated. It's not from this. It, it's a 10 low enough. You get 10 insanity. Why is that bad? You're fine for now. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five. No reach? No reach. No reach. You can go and beat the ever-loving hell out of them, though. Oh, um, you have a better chance. I to forgot to do this. Give me the top hit location cards. Um, at oh, the it's going to start mine, too. Yeah. So you should check the AI deck, then, Josh. Um, the top card's good, still. So. You hit for how many speed? Um, I want you to hit. I want you to crit this. Oh, okay. I, I want the minus one speed token, and you have the best chance of it. So I need to roll to see if I get rid of my... I do lose an insanity. I mean, a survival. Super duper. Oh, I had peerless. Mm -hmm. I just gained an insanity before. Okay. So I'm going to keep it at seven then. Okay. Uh, I need to roll a d10 on the two plus I hit. That's a three. That's Is a that if you never built rawhide sets? Rawhide sets are so freaking good. That's like the like one of the best armors. Uh, so this is the palette. You technically have to check all four cards. If you yeah, so let me so. see that now. Oh, the trap, oh, the trap card's there. Super duper. Well, I'm putting the trap card on the bottom. It doesn't really matter with these two. I'll put this one on top, then this one underneath and then the trap card so trap cards getting close there um it if this, it, the, the survival though is just so beneficial late game yeah. still like i still think it's a great late game armor uh so i'm attacking the pallet i crit Yay! the screaming antelope chokes on the blood spilling from its undermouth the monster gains a minus one speed token. So if you could please reduce the monster's speed by one, that helps us out immensely, and then also reduce its life by one as well. Note it's going to do its basic attack now. Okay. Uh, you don't want to hit now, I'm assuming. I have... Three plus speed. One. Three speed. If you hit with all four... And with all three attacks, you hit the trap card. I know. I plus one accuracy. The fact that we have the uh, the rawhide headband and the apostle crown, though, is going... Oh, did we still have the rawhide headband, or did I get rid of it? I got rid of it. The cat eye circle? Yeah, cat eye circle. Would be daisy. So we can't... Let me look here. So. He's going to do a basic action, which is going to be graze. Right. He's, he can't full move and heal. He can't reach that account this plant, the plant this turn. Okay, so what's he going to do? So Twitch needs to get stood, stood back up so they don't get attacked. He's going to run towards it. That's it. Right, but why would they get attacked? He's They're knocked out right now. He's going to target Is he them. in range of them? Yeah, he's easily in range. I will use a survival to stand Twitch back up. I don't use a survival. So TP, you're standing back up again. Yay. Um... So, Twitch's speed is what? One. So they can hit him. They can hit. You take out a card. All right. Oh, I never did a wound there. So, TP, first, we want you to dash. So we want you to spend, or roll a d10 to see if you regain the survival you spend for dashing. Okay. So we're going to put you in the butt. Okay. The knee injury. Uh, we didn't actually crit the knee. Why not? This one? You didn't crit this, right? Oh, when he removes his... Yeah, I did. You did crit this? Yes, I did. Whenever he moves, you have to roll a d10. Okay. Yeah, I did roll that. I did wound, uh, crit that. Okay, I'm sorry. I put that in the wrong spot, then. Whoopsie-daisy. This is just our My crit. fault. Um, so did you roll a d10? Sorry. I, you said you moved me to the butt, and then I missed the d10 roll. So That's two. two. You do use your survival. Okay. And then I'm going to need you to roll another d10. Let's do it. Rolling another d10. Survival's going down to six. And this d10 is going to be your attack. You are in the butt. So it's going to be a four plus for you to hit. Five. Fantastic. So you hit the monster. And now I need you to roll a d10. You're attacking the gnarled horns. Gnarled. The gnarls Barkley horns. 
You're a gnarled bark. So you have two strength right now. It's a ten. Oh, okay, cool. Gain one screaming antelope resource. Blood pours from the ruined crown. Affect semi eye card. She got a persistent injury there. So if you create this. No, no, that's good. So you created this also, so you never got a resource for that. Oh, I was supposed to get a resource for that too? Yeah. Oh, cool. So TP, you got a pelt. Josh, oh, sorry, sorry, you don't. I, yeah, I don't get a resource. I don't get a pelt? No, 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 you do. I don't get anything. You're fine. Josh is confusing himself, me, yes. everyone here. Let's, Just ignore him. We have another wound. Rule three. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, monster's life total is going down by Is that from the damage that I did? Indeed, yep. doodly. Awesome. All right, so it's 20 total? Yep. So, Alrighty. do they want to surge and go again? No! Who has a higher chance of critting? Uh, I do. I already went twice. You surged? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they can go. Wait, did I surge? I don't think you did. You just went and attacked once. You're right. I did only attack once. There's two things we could do. You could... This gives a minus one toughness token. I don't know how much we care about that crit. It's good for them. They have really bad strength. It's good for them. Or... So, they go first, then you go, and then you could bury that trap card even further. No, it's at the beginning of your act. Yeah, it's the beginning of my act. So, let let me go now. I regain my survival. Okay. I still hit the monster, because Jesus, why not? Uh, I'm attacking the restless flank. Turn the monster to face the attacker. That's a reflex. That's a reflex. That's a crit. Gain one screaming antelope resource. The blood runs down the screaming antelope's side. The blood loss weakens the monster. It gains a minus one toughness token. So, TP, can you please do me a favor? Mm-hmm. Reduce the monster's toughness by one, and also reduce the monster's life total by one. Reduce the monster's toughness by one, so it's down to 11, and the life total is going down... To 19. To 19, okay. And then I got a shank bone. Note the trap card is on top now, so you do not want to attack right now, TP. All right, so is there anything else that we needed to do then? I think that's it. That's it, yeah. And that card's going to stay there because I already looked at it. And he's going to do basic action. All right. So it is our the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. So the I'm monster. the monster controller. He's going to do his basic action because I crit him. I crit him twice, but I, I crit him. Uh, he's going to graze. And he's going to graze. So he's going to full move towards the closest acanthus. So one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, roll a d10 first. TP, roll a d10. Uh, okay, rolling a d10. Be really nice if you roll a one right here. Oh, two. So close, but yet so far. So he's going to go there. He's not going to be able to reach the acanthus plant. And then he's going to do diabolical. No, that ends his turn. Oh, it ends his turn? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So that's... Yeah, dude, that one oh, this is so neutered now. So, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It is the end of the monster's turn. And it's now our turn. You um, want to go first? I kind of have to, don't I? Yep. So I'm going to go first. Uh, I'm going to put that trap card underneath the other three. Let's see what the other three are. Is there any that I want to hit in particular? There's a first strike one. Oh, that's a good one. Minus two. I don't care about that. So I want these two on top. Okay, so I'm going to run over to his butt. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to attack. So again, it's a two plus... Oh, we all lose. Oh, no. No, that that didn't happen. We're all knocked down. We're all knocked down? Yeah. This is the... End of the fourth turn. We all get knocked down. Yeah, we're all knocked down. We're all taking naps. Yeah. That's the end of our turn. Woo! There's nothing we can do, right? Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Transcendent. Thank you. So what do we do next, Josh? It's the monster's turn. You're the monster controller. Yes. So let me give that to you. And then what's his next AI card? Sorry, Ravenous. Closest survivor with... Cons- oh, shit. Can you guys push it down? It's just that we're not zoomed in, so I don't really have much control over the camera. Okay. So it is the uh, closest survivor with consumable gear in range. Who has consumable gear? We're all in range. Um, I don't have consumable gear. 
The wisdom potions consume. Monster, Monster grease is, is consumable. Um, between Twitch and uh, Sawbreaker. I'd prefer to go after Twitch. Okay. That's going to go after Twitch. Um, no, you're both going to get hit by Diabob. I'd rather go after you then. Are you happy? He's going to run across the board. Josh! Okay, fine. Have it go after me and Twitch. I'm just... I know you're mean. You, you're I'm mean. You're a butt. I get it. Telling you what's happening. So rude. Okay, so he's going to go after Twitch. And then, TP, I need you to roll uh, three d10s. Three d10s coming your way. And you have 40 evasion. So it's going to hit you on a six plus. That's an eight, a two, a nine. And can they dodge when they're knocked down still? Yeah, you can still dodge. No. I mean, they got hit twice, so it's useless now, but... Oh. Is this... Oh, shit. He's gonna get that again. Yep. And a nine. Oh, that's three. One more roll. Oh, no, it's three. Three D10s. I'm dumb. Um, so you're gonna hit, hit twice. So, TP, I need you to roll two hit location dice. Two hit location? I don't like that. No, you shouldn't like it. No... Oh boy, so two hit location die. Let's see what you're getting hit. Luckily, luckily you have decent armor. So armor. And one more hit location. And again, it, it Panda Bot kind of takes a crap when it uh, has multiple rolls at the same time. Do we not have any alerts coming up? We should. For what? I don't see any alerts at all. Oh, like banners? Yeah. I don't have anything up. No, no. Like not even our bar, though. What do you mean our bar? Oh, uh, the bar. I don't know what the bar's missing. Legs. So TP, if you want, you can spend a survival to dodge one of the hits, so either the arms or the legs. Since you've gotten damage to the arms already, I'm assuming you're going to want to dodge the arms. Sure, but let's, uh, let's... Roll a d10 to see if you use your survival? Yeah. So, so I make all the adjustments at the same time. That almost makes sense. What? So you do use your survival, so you're going to use a survival... And then also your leg armor is going to go down to one. Okay, and well. then the monster is going to eat your monster grease. That actually doesn't say. It has to eat... Uh... Consumes one gear in the target's gear grid. Would you rather eat the wisdom potion? Um, no, I, I, the, the monster grease is a choice I would probably go with. Just saying that it doesn't have to be... A consumable gear? A consumable gear. That's just for targeting. Um, and you lost a, uh... You lose an invasion as well. Yes. Because mm. he ate your monster grease. And he's gonna run over you guys. Woo! And you both take three damage. So, TP, if you can please also, uh, roll another hit location One die. second, I have to lower my evasion. Some stats and evasion is going... And he gets plus one speed token. Down to... Three? Mm-hmm. This is a super annoying bookkeeping fight, just because I, I've got monster stats for you to upgrade now. Yeah, and so what am I gonna? Uh, it speeds back up to three. Oh, it's our evasion, not the monster's yes. evasion, correct? Yes. Your evasion My went evasion. down one. Okay, and now I'm rolling a d10 again. Correct. No. Uh, hit location. Hit Sorry. location. Sorry. Thank you. Well, they they rolled a body, so that's that works. Come on. Thank you for the follow. So you're gonna take three damage to your body. Three damage to the body. Okay. Ooh, so you're gonna go down to one armor on the body. I just closed it. That was a bad idea. Why are, why are you hovering? I want to take a look at something real quick. I want to rock! Rock! No? Not the one. Oh, okay. Not the one. Not the one. And then you're going to reduce the monsters. Oh. Roll a d10. Oh. Did you just snap at me? No. Roll chat, roll a chat roll a d10. There's so much stuff going on. I apologize. Two. Oh my god. The monster's speed goes up one. I know. Your brain's gonna explode, I understand. And that is the end of that. 
Why is everyone knocked down right now, Josh? Oh, okay. Hmm? Why is everyone knocked down? Because of that stupid thing. The so what am I putting on? Math wise. What's changing? Oh. Monster speed? Monster speed goes up one, so he's going to have plus three speed now. Again. So confusing! And that is the end of the monster's turn. We get up now. Yeah, we all get up now. You guys are in the blind spot again. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to hit something. So I need to go first. Wait. Yeah, sorry. Oh. You're good. That's it. However you wanted to do this. Josh, uh, you go. Okay, I'm going to attack. One speed. Roll a seven, that's a hit. Can I have that card, please? So I'm attacking the Restless Ear. Uh, and that is going to... Wait a minute. What? Where does it say he gets plus health? It's only on the... the... When he grazes. When he grazes. Yes. Okay. So I'm uh, hitting Restless Ear, plus two luck, so I crit on a five plus. A four, really. Uh, so it's still a wound. So TP, can you please reduce the monster's life total by one? Yeah. I'm gonna surge and go again. Monster's life. Are you total insane? By one, so life's down to eighteen. No. Wow. Okay. Uh, before you go, I'm gonna check AI cards. Okay. Do we want the weapon? Oh, is it there? It is here. Oh boy. King of Orcs, thank you for following. So what is what do we have to do then? So this card's gonna come in play. Yeah. And it's the monster gains plus four toughness. Okay. Plus one speed. Okay. Uh, when a survivor with less than five courage ends their act adjacent to the screen and alert, they suffer one brain damage per monster level. Okay. Uh, and then when the monster's defeated you get the legendary card. She's gonna get plus four toughness, plus one speed. I want it. So you can do one more hit, and then we have to... I don't use my survival. I hit the monster. I'm attacking the Restless Eye. And... I crit the monster. The monster's vision is devastated. It gains a minus one evasion target token. So TP, can you please reduce the monster's evasion by one? And also, the monster's life total by one. Life total is going down to 17, and evasion is going down to zero. That is correct. He's not going to draw that card now. Nope. Which is actually not a bad thing. It's not. He's going to go around and try to eat that again. So here's the thing, too. TP also has a raw hide headband. We do. So what you can do, TP, is you can use your turn to first check the AI cards, put a safe one on top, because we want to keep the current AI card that's there on top, and then surge and attack and try to wound the monster. Um, I'll just do it with my character again. I use the survival so they can... Oh. You're... No, 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 he's doing the, the crappy part for you. You can okay. still attack. So... Because, hey, you don't get to do it. take my turn for me. You... So, TP, please roll a d10... You are going to be attacking the monster. And again, you are going to hit the monster on a 4 plus. That's a 4, so you hit the monster. You're attacking the giant tongue. Minus 2 toughness to wound this location, so it's only 9 toughness. Oh, you, uh, did you crit? Oh, we crit. You crit. We crit. Gain 1 screaming antelope resource. Sweet! And the monster takes a life damage to down to 16. Correct. That is correct. Good job. I do not! Yay! No, no, good job on the wound. Okay. And you got the Screaming Brain. Archive what this kind, and gain survival up to the current limit. The Screaming Brain. What, what kind of brain? The brain that you hang, like Aaron did in the Manhunter picture. <laughs> okay. Crits all around, seriously. Um, so, that is the end of our turn. We don't want to do anything else, right? Unless, uh, you were over here. You didn't do Can anything I with your character. Can I search and go again? I'm reading the trap. It's actually... We might as well hit it. What is it? 
So the attacker's doom, all survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster level. So Twitch could take a step back and surge and not be adjacent. You could dash all the way too. Not be Jason? adjacent? Adjacent. The monster lands on its belly and begins to slide on its Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line on collision. Yada, yada, yada. So he's hitting the wall. Yes. T- okay. TP. Yes. Um, you take a step back. Please roll a d10. And you're going to surge and attack the monster. You're going to activate the trap card. Nothing's going to happen to you, though. You're going to be okay. Are you going to dash out of the way? No. Why would I? So what am I doing? You want, you want the brain damage? I don't care about the brain damage. Okay. What am I doing? You, you're surging, so you're going to roll a d10 to see if you regain the survival that back you use. And knock down. Okay. That's the only bad thing about it. Eight. So we gain our survival back. So then please roll another d10. You are attacking the monster. Yeah, you want to stay monster? there because he's going to come out. Yeah. We are at so. 10 insanity. That is correct. Yep. So they attacked? For or three. They, they rolled three. That is another That's a miss. So, Josh, you can go with your tank. I could go with my tank. Hey, guess what? Same thing. We got him in the corner. No one puts Screaming Antelope Baby in the corner. Ooh, Seven says we got two orders to our rep store. Oh, nice. Um, Sweet. I'm going to get knocked back, and then I'm going to get attacked as the tank. Why would you get attacked as the tank? I'm going to get knocked back five, knocked down, and then his basic action is going to target me. Oh, knocked down. That's right. Oh, unless, no, you could... You can stand. I can back stand up. you back up. Yeah. So that's not a huge issue. I get knocked down. Um, eight, four, four. That's three hits. You hit. You activate the trap card. Yay! Woo! So I'm gonna take two brain damage per monster level. So oh, two I'm, per monster level. Yes, I'm taking oh, six brain damage. Shit. I rolled a three. You're gonna lose two levels of weapon proficiency. I don't have any weapon. I don't have any of that. Um, I don't get any. Let sanity. me let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, two levels of weapon. Proficiency. And he, he screams into the corner that way. All right, um, Twitch, you want to stand me back up? Or who has more survival? You or Matt? I have six. Twitch has five. So you have technically more. Really? Yeah. Wow. Got numbers. I lose the survival. So you're standing back up again. So it's the end of our turn. Wait, no, it doesn't even have to be the end of our turn. TP could attack now. TP already surged, you went. It's oh. pretty much the end of our turn. Yep, it is the end of our turn. So it's the monster's turn now. The monster is going to perform a basic action because I crit him, and he's going to graze. He's going to... Wait, f- let's have chat roll a d10 first. Yes. So TP, can you please have chat roll a d10? And uh, what that is going to do is if you guys roll a 1, something good happens. We like it when good stuff happens. And thank you for the follow a two. You guys, this is the third time you've rolled two on this one. We just want you to roll a one. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So what's on top? Uh, wound screaming animal turns the face of the attacker and moves forward in a straight line. Yeah. If you wound. If you crit, uh, gain one screaming antelope resource and a minus one damage token. Okay. So I, it's the monster's turn now. He's going to full move towards the uh, acanthus. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, look at that. No one's in his diabolical range. Yeah, that's his turn anyway. anyway. Oh, that's true. All right, so it's the end of the monster's turn. The Dirty Martini is not following us. That's nice. I like Dirty Martinis. I really I do. Love I love Dirty Martinis. I hate Dirty Martinis. They're gross. I hate olives. You okay. hate olives? Yeah, I hate olives. It's one of the few foods that I hate. You're so weird. Have you had them recently? Yeah. I don't like olives. Even the blue cheese stuffed olives? Nope, don't like olives. Hmm. I am going to check the AI cards. Okie doke. A lot of followers all of a sudden. Hmm. Stop complaining. I'm not. I'm just curious as to what it is. All right. I move that card back up. Do you want to go first? Matt? Sure, why not? You move which card back up? I move the card that you can hit out of the way. Okay. So let's let's see what we got here. I'm going to rearrange these because that's what I do best. Hmm. This, oh, that's this one nice. leaves at the bottom. That yeah, one's that's, the bottom. that one's annoying. Um, mm-hmm. Well, Stefan's watching, but apparently he can't draft. Hi, Stefan! Okay, so I'm going to go now? He does not hate pickles. He loves pickles. Yeah, I absolutely love pickles. But not the good ones. He only likes bread and butter pickles. No, I love all pickles. 
They're like half sour. I don't like half sours. Those half aren't sours good are the best. No, pickles. they're not. They're gross pickles. You were talking to a Jew, and that is that is against our religion to say. I don't like any pickles. That's because you're a freak. Okay, it's one thing to not like pickles. It's one thing. It's another thing to like not like the holy recognized best pickle ever. That's not the holy recognized best pickle. It's a half sour because it's a half complete pickle. It's not a full pickle. You're a half complete pickle. <laughs> maybe, in the, maybe later. Uh, so I'm attacking the furry tail. I wound the monster. So TP, can you please reduce the monster's life total by one? I can certainly try. Can someone do something with the AI deck, please? Because I want to hit the next one too. Yeah, Joshua. Sure. This is what you're good at, Josh. This is me now. <sighs> Did you rearrange it? Yep. Good. I don't use my survival. And I hit the monster. <laughs> I'm attacking the furry throat. Plus two luck if I have. <laughs> I crit. Gain one screaming antelope resource. Oh my god, really? You killed it again. <laughs> I didn't mean to! I didn't think I was gonna roll a 10 again! Just, just so everyone... Here, I rolled that. Yep. So I rolled a 10. Uh, I broke the Screaming Antelope's neck again. He dies instantly. I did it again. You what? I killed him. Because I broke his neck. <laughs> Again. I'm sorry. I kind of forgot that we needed to have that card in play too. Yep. You ruined it. I kind of did. So we're that not gonna get so we're not gonna get the Lance of Longinus. You ruined it. I've never been so sad to crit a monster. <laughs> to kill it. <laughs> yeah, I just killed the hell out of it again. Alright, so. Huh. We get the rest of the basic, uh, all these resources, because we get 10. We get all of his resources? Yeah, we got all of his resources. Okay, so we got the bladder, the shank bone, the shank bone, the spiral horn, the beast stake, the beast stake, the pelt, the shank bone, the pelt, and the pelt. And we Team get six basics. Of antelopes. So we're going to get six basics. So we got a... Shadow Kanoko wants to know what happened. Uh, Matt ruined Oh yeah, it. sorry about that, guys. I didn't explain it too well. So I attacked the furry throat. And I crit the monster, I rolled a 9, uh, and I, I rolled another d10 because it says there's a chance that the blow uh, snaps the Screaming Antelope's neck, killing it. Roll another d10, and I rolled a 10 on that, so the Screaming Antelope died instantly. So I snapped his neck. It was the second week in a row that I did that. Uh, TB, you can switch back to us. Womp, womp. So I got a monster hide, a monster hide, some monster bone, a monster organ, a monster hide, and a monster organ. And we get two vermin resources. And we get two vermin resources as well. We get mm, a lot of resources. We farm that. Uh, can you move antelope. the chat down, please? Yeah. Why is that bad? Um, I would like to make it so there I don't was have a to do that legendary anyhow. card. Yeah, the, literally the next card was a legendary card where if we killed the monster with it in play, it gives us what we need to make the. Well, it gives us the legendary horns. And if we got the legendary horns, we would have been able to get the Lance of Longinus, which is like the best spear in the game. One of the top spears, yeah. Yeah. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie poopsie. Uh, so we got a hissing cockroach, and this is um, archive this to lose all survival and gain D two D ten sanity. And then we got the crab spider, archive this and gain three survival. So on top of that, Josh, because we had the heart flute. Saga. The heart, heart flute. flute. Sorry. Because we have the hard flute, um, we need to roll a d10. So, TP, please roll a d10. I don't want And let's see what we get here. Five. A five. So, one of the people back in the settlement that has never been on a hunt, that has zero hunt experience, is going to gain plus two strength. Because of you. That's good. You should smile. Yeah. Yay. Is that good? I mean, if we don't use them, why? We haven't used them yet. Okay, fair enough. So basically, by the time all of our characters die, and we need to use them, they'll be maybe decent. Yep. Okay, um, who got the final bluff? Is the question. Contest, I don't know who you're finding this. 
Two bodies to the feet. Two bodies, pick a winner. No one voted for you. Really? Wow. Oh. Should have voted for me. I am. I really am like the destroyer of antelopes now. <laughs> Who killed the first antelope we fought? I don't know. I'm gonna say it was me because I want. I want this to become a thing. It's a good thing that there's no video recording of that. Ever. That's true. But two weeks in a row, I snapped the, the two antelopes' necks. At least this time, someone else did some damage. Oh, we all got our hunt XP. Oh yes, we all got a hunt XP, and I I aged up. I I didn't get weapon proficiency in the uh, shield. I got a club proficiency. Wait, did you hit with either of your characters, Josh? Um, no, you didn't. I hit the trap card. You hit the trap card. So, TP is the only other person to do damage. Yes. You saved it from being the Matt takes on an antelope by himself again. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like Matt would be a monk in the Final Fantasy game. Just punches things to death. I did play as a monk in our D and D sessions or our Pathfinder bit. sessions, and Josh got really upset at me. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> After I reread the rules on how things work. Well, yeah. All right. So next up, Josh, we got to draw a settlement event, right? Uh, yeah, you aged up there, right? I did age up, so I'm gonna need to roll two d tens. That doesn't. Count. Seven and eight. Fifteen. Um, I'm going to guess you get a ring of fire. I don't think that's it for level three. I'm pretty sure it is. Hate to be the bear of bad news. The bear of bad news. Um, You're a king in one and a fighting art. Oh, okay. But I have the dragon vestments on. Yeah, so you get to choose your choice. So you can take Faded Blow. So if I choose Faded Blow, I'm just going to need either Destined or Weapon Master. Okay. Weapon Master's possible. And also, I'm really close to getting full courage. And Will getting this line as yeah. well. So, I'm going to choose Faded Blow. Okay. Just because it gives me the most options from here on out. Okay. I can't choose Frozen Star. Nope. You sure? Yeah. Uh, you want to update your fighting arts? My farting arts. So, I have Faded... What is Faded Blow? I need to check the text on that. Oh, that would have been really handy. What? I had Tumble. Yeah. You never had a chance to use it. I also have Champion's Right, but it literally wouldn't have helped my chances of hitting the monster at all. Which is kind of amusing. No, oh, I also have Combo Master. I don't think I ever rolled a 10 on the hitting. Once per shot, you may give your next wound attempt plus 2 strength and devastating 1. Faded Blow. So, plus 2 strength... And devastating one. Devastating one. Okay, cool. Thank you, Josh. So what is next, Josh? Um, the riot mace really makes the antelope a little pansy. Riot mace is... Really good. It's good. Good stuff. I mean, early on I couldn't do anything because if I did crit him, then it's just like, oh, he's going to have 18 speed. Uh, which one am I getting? New game plus? Ooh! Lights in the sky! That's actually... Why are you upset? He's so upset he can't... We don't have, like, any iron. Well, you should do something about that. Lights in the sky! A spectacular light joy rubs against the limitless darkness above. Swirling vivid trails streak overhead. They lift everyone's spirits. The settlement's collective imagination is set aflame. After rolling for any endeavor, you may add plus one or two to the results. <laughs> Wait, speaker time. Oh, come, come on! on. <laughs> uh, so we have graves. So we can do that where we possibly add plus three to all armor locations for departing survivors. We have face pain, right? Yes. Ooh, Josh. Oh. We have inner lantern. Mm -hmm. Silent reflection. Gain a fighting art of your choice. Doesn't... Doesn't that get you Frozen Star? That's a secret fighting Oh, it's a secret fighting art. Okay. That's the issue. Ooh, okay. Okay, I believe you. So, what do we want to... How many endeavors do we have? We have four endeavors, right? Um, read part two. Oh, part two. The construction is demanding. This lantern here archive all basic resources brought back by returning survivors. Rounded down. 
What does that mean? I, I hate the way that they... This year, archive all basic resources brought back by returning survivors, rounded down. What does it mean, rounded down? What we did last time was we took half, rounded down. Where is all the other resources we got? Okay, here we are. Okay. If there are fewer than four people of the stars in the settlement, there are fewer than four people of the stars, aren't there? Yep. Minus four endeavors. Yay, no endeavors. Well, shit. What else happens? The departing survivors gain plus one luck token. Add tomb part three to next year. Returning survivors roll a d10. Returning survivors roll a d10? Yep. This isn't good. Um, TP, what's your roll? A three? Hello? Yes. Okay, uh, thank you. Good. Sorry. Um, so all three of us throw our energy behind uh, the settlement's frantic pace, completely exhausting ourselves. You must skip the next hunter cover. All three of us. All three of us? Four all, of us. All four of us, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Yay. Well, that was a shitty year. That's a weird thing to say. All right. So that means no heart flute. Nothing else happens. No. So is a kingdom death year the same amount of time as a real year? I would doubt it because you are getting new babies and then immediately bringing them to fight the next year. But still, that doesn't really make sense anyway because they, I, even if it was based on human standards, it'd only be one year old. You're going to make the one year old fight the screen. Maybe world? every lantern year is like 15 normal years. Oh. But okay, so say it's like 15 normal years. How long does this fight actually take place? It's not the fight necessarily. It takes a long time, but it's your hunt. Okay, but like, is there any resting period for these people, or is like the fight? No, like we're in a fight them? for our lives. But is the fight itself equivalent to like three human years? Like they're just I don't know. constantly battling. Maybe. That's you never depressing. know. That's depressing. Right. So that's that's it. We can't do anything else. Mm. We got, that. we got no endeavors. Um, what does... Matt kills the dang thing, calls it a bad year. Where's the innovations? I don't know. I don't have them. I think you have the stack over there. Nah. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I don't think so. You smell. That's not them. What's... That says innovations. That's this? not them. This? TP had them, see? I have them. So why do you want that, Josh? Uh, with the ultimate fighting art, I just don't 100% recall what that gives us. Well, I can see two, Josh. Well, you can see two, we have the Josh. ultimate weapon, and that's survivor limit plus one, is when you defeat a monster, gain one monster resource of your choice from its resource deck. We you gain ours. all of them anyway, so it's okay. It's I really don't want a nightmare train, Josh. Yep. It would have been a great year for nightmare training. It would have been a great year for the arena. Yeah. Really oh my stuff. god, it would have been such a good year for arena. Yep. Holy crap. Yep. That's that's what happened. All right. Thank you all for joining us this evening. This was uh, our presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. It did really well, but uh, Not ended, the ended way a that little. We wanted to do ended a little sour. A little sour. At least it wasn't a TPK. It wasn't a TPK. So we would like to point out that uh, this week's stream. All of this week's streams mm -hmm. are sponsored by, I keep wanting to say Ezra, it's Elzra, Elzra, Elzra. Elzra Games. Uh, they have the Kickstarter Catacombs Conquest live now. Uh, if you could post the link for that in chat, TP. Yeah. And then on top of that, too, we are also sponsored by WizKids with Approaching Dawn, the Witching Hour. So uh, Catacombs, we're going to be doing the spotlight of that next Wednesday. And Witching Hour, we're doing the spotlight of that tomorrow. Yeah. And so, we'll be joined by Ken, Ken Shannon, who is the creator of Approaching Dawn, Witching Hour. And an all-around good guy. He is an all-around good guy. We had the pleasure of having And we're engineering buddies. <laughs> You're such a loser. Yeah, I am. Miss Jackie Catacombs is going to be next Wednesday. It was supposed to be yesterday, but... Yeah, we yeah. got stuff happened. A little wonky with the shipping there. But, you know, it things happens. happen. And I believe we just got it in today, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, you roll with the punches. 
All right, and then we are going to also have a, a few other people in the stream with us tomorrow, right? Too, right? We're going to have uh, the Anne full cast. Yeah, I and believe we should have a full cast. Meow, yeah, and Lucy, apparently. A Lucy, apparently. Lucy's always here. So join us tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time for that. On for approaching down watching hour. Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. What are we doing, Josh? Uh, that Thursdays, should be our continuation of Dump. So, it's Apocalypse. Not, it's Apocalypse, Apocalypse 2. 2. Apocalypse 2. Apocalypse 2. The Burbs. And hopefully Julie uh, from Greenboro Games or uh, Walter. She better be or else. Will be joining us, one of them. I still have a theory that they're the same person. So join us again at 8 p.m. Eastern time for our continuation of that. Um... We will not have a panda show again this week, unfortunately. Uh, and I know Daphne is going to get so upset by this. Um, Could it be the return of the Matt show? No, no one. The creation that. of the Matt show. Um, and uh, then join us this weekend. We're going to be streaming. Say why? But okay. Join us this weekend. We are going to be at Supercon at Florida. At, Florida. at what? At what? So join us. We're going to be live from Supercon in Fort Lauderdale, the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. So if anyone is in the local area, feel free to stop on by. Mm-hmm. And we're actually hang with even us. in their program, I think. Or we're on their schedule. It's we're on the event schedule. Our picture's there somewhere. It's an event. We're there. It's like it's official. So we are going to be there Saturday from 12 to 8 and Sunday from 12 to 6. And then Monday we will uh, be back with. Um, Gigamic? 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 No matter how you say it, it always leads fun. Or something go. something like that. Something for something to that effect. Uh hel- Halapagos. 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 Nice try, guys. Josh. Halapagos. We're, we're going to be survivors that, and You have each other. to say it correctly because it does not mean fun unless you say it correctly. Yes. Um, and then, worst case scenario, join us back here next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. So if you haven't done so already, please follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Come chat with us on our Discord channel where meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Shut up! Uh, also, we would like... Oh, you got rid of my yeah, screen. Uh, also, if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you followed us and subscribed to us. If you do, haven't subscribed to us already, every dollar that we get from that, the bits, the tips, all goes into funding the stream, getting more games to show off for you guys, getting more giveaways for you guys. Yeah, and we also did get a lot of giveaways courtesy of Mayday Games at Dice Tower Con that we'd love to give... Uh, don't tell the cat to shut up. So big shout out to Mayday, Mayday Games. We really do appreciate it. And we're looking forward to featuring some more of their stuff uh, on the stream as well. Yeah, and uh, you know we still still do have that tip giveaway. Every $100 uh, earns a giveaway contest. So If you guys want a free game, just get that uh, donation bar going upwards, and we're going to do a giveaway for that. And as a reminder, uh, bits do count toward that bar now. So And also, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription every month. So I'd be honored if you used it on us. We also have subscriber only giveaways, so when we hit certain goals as far as our uh, subscriber counts, we will you guys will be in ex- uh, exclusive. No kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> exclusive <laughs> subscriber only giveaways. Josh. Josh. Say hi. You're killing me. Hi. Um, How do you feel about a game of Yogi? That's what I was about to suggest. Uh, yes. I'd, I'd like to finish up a few more things with yes. the, the stream. We can do our full sign off. So, I'm trying to think of, uh, if you haven't done so already, please check out the other members of the Tabletop Gaming Network, a bunch of other fantastic streamers that do a really great job streaming tabletop and board games Inclu- to... Including the whole card. Including the whole card, yeah. Are they here? I think I saw something. Whole card's here. Whole card's in here. <laughs> With the cat on your head. <laughs> <gonna murder you. laughs> And finally, uh, well, we don't have our Kickstarter spiel to do, but we just got our web store up and running. So if you guys check that out, you have the opportunity to buy some of our last Kickstarter. That's the XLP 2.0 dice. We've got, uh, and, the, and the dice boxes. So we've got those up on our website if you want to buy And the art some. cards. Oh, the art cards are there too, if you want to buy that. So super exciting there. We just got that up and running today, so we're, we're excited to show that off for you guys. Other than that, am I missing anything, folks? Um, I do want to point out that Jelly Bean Games just launched their game, Ninjitsu. Sell I know out. that's going to kill me. Sell out. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm the operations manager at Jelly Bean Games, and I'm super excited about this Kickstarter, so I'm going to use my... She performs all the surgeries there. Yes. 
operations. Yes, no, I, I oversee the surgeries. Ah, yes, yes, Because yes. I manage. They actually, they continuously play a game of operation at I, their studio yeah. there, and, and she I just, just watch watches. It. I just watch it. I just make sure no one's cheating. Is Bluebeard going to be at Gen Con, Panda? Unfortunately not, but he will be at um, PAX Unplugged. Right now he is down under. Um, under where? <laughs> no, not under where. Uh, the other thing is, if you do exclamation point Teespring, we started up a Teespring store. Teespring? What are you pointing at? The spinner. Why? Because I won. No. Thank you for the follow. You have a lot of followers. Yeah. Thank you guys. You're really and I'm for sure. <laughs> uh, and I'll be updating the Teespring store. So if you want a life size HBK body Ooh. pillow, they don't have. They, they, it's a 20 inch pillow max. A what? A 20, 20 inch, inch pillow, pillow max. I mean, a 20 inch what? <laughs> hey Matt, it's a life size for my mother. That's accurate. Uh, okay, so otherwise, thank you all for joining us this evening. We hope to see you all soon. Stay tuned. We're going to have a nice sign off game of Yogi. But this is Twist Gaming signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Panda. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Go get Yogi, you butthole.